Thank you for tuning in to Iron Point Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a PS5 DualSense controller to your PC. Now the simplest way is using a USB-C cable. If you have a USB-C cable, you can plug it into the top of this controller and then connect it to a USB port on your PC. And then an additional way, which I'm going to show you, is connecting it via Bluetooth. So to start, you're going to want to push this PlayStation button and this button at the top left. You want to hold both of those buttons down for a few seconds and then you'll see the controller starts blinking this blue color that means it is ready to be paired via bluetooth so next you're going to want to go into your search bar type in bluetooth pull open the bluetooth settings make sure your bluetooth is enabled it's possible your motherboard might not be bluetooth enabled so you want to check that you might need to get a bluetooth adapter uh, if it is enabled, then just click add Bluetooth or other device and then click on this Bluetooth section. And then in a second, it starts identifying devices that are ready to be paired. So you can see wireless controller. This is the PS5 DualSense controller. So I'm going to click input and click it to connect. You can see it is now setting up the device and connected to my PC. So now you can see on the controller, it's now highlighted a full pink color, which means it is connected. It might be a different color for yours when it first connects. So next, I'm gonna pull up Steam and show you how to connect it into Steam as well. So you're gonna to wanna to go to view and go to big picture mode. And then after big picture mode has loaded, click on the settings and then go to controller settings. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure PlayStation configuration support is enabled, just so it can identify PlayStation controllers and then make sure that they work for appropriate games. You can see here, detected controllers, it detects the PlayStation 5 controller. But I'm gonna click on that and you can change a couple things in your preferences if you wish. So if you click open the preferences, you can change the controller name, you can change the rumble preference on or off, you can even change the controller light color. So you can see, I click there, it changes to a blue. I click there and it changes to a green. You can control the brightness and the saturation of the controller as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click submit. And then now my controller is enabled. I have the PlayStation configuration selected. So now you can use it for any controller compatible games on Steam. And so if there are any other tips or tricks or other game launchers that you need more information on and how to connect a PS5 controller, please drop them in the comments below. Uh, that's the quick tutorial and all I have to show for you today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for tuning in.